What's going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Now, today we're talking about a sneaker that I've actually been following the origins of or the inspiration of for quite some time here, especially being in the space city like Huntsville, Alabama. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Nike Air Max 90 Mars. Now to really understand the origin of this sneaker, let's take it all the way back to 2014, where Nike decided to celebrate the 45th anniversary of our first landing on the moon by Neil Armstrong and company with an Air Max 90 with a special lunar lawn sole that had an all over graphic of the surface of the moon. They called it the Air Max 90 moon landing. Now the cool thing about that sneaker is that it was super limited edition. Nobody had ever seen anything like it before and it caught wildfire. Today, that sneaker is probably still worth over a thousand dollars easily, but it's probably gonna cost you more like 1500 depending on the size that you need. That sneaker was so amazingly popular that everybody wondered what Nike was gonna do next as far as a space themed sneaker and here it is. So. Let's take a closer look. Now, starting with the upper of this shoe, again, all over graphic of the surface. Nike actually took their time going through hundreds of photos, high resolution, different types of photos of the surface, not only to get the right photo that captured just the right amount of detail, but also to make sure that they captured the true essence of the colors as well, and to make sure that the laces and the accessories actually match those colors as well, which actually dawned the creation of a new color that's called Marstone and Magma Orange. So again, all over the upper of the shoe, kind of looks like it's digitally printed on here and then overlaid in full 3M. Of course, we'll take a look at the 3M in a moment. Going down to the midsole of the shoe, again, regular Air Max 90 midsole. No lunar insole on this one, but still very comfortable. You got silver airbags that actually matches the outsole. On the outsole of the sneaker, this is actually a translucent outsole that features a digitized graphic of the wheel from the Mars Rover Opportunity underneath it as well. So you can actually kind of see the wheel ridges going all all the way down the outsole here. That's actually a digitized picture of the wheel from the Rover itself. Now you can actually see around the heel of the sneaker here, these speckles here are actually raised. They're not actually on the sneaker itself, but they're actually raised like you can actually like, you know, pick them off or something like that, like they're painted on. Now, personally, I think this is made to be a three-dimensional representation of the rocks and the dust on the moon as the rover would roll over the dust and kick up dirt all over the bottom of it. On the heel of the shoe, you get a really nice metallic Nike Air patch. You're also gonna get a metallic Nike Air Max patch right on the tongue. Now, Nike didn't stop there. They also put that same screen-printed image of the surface of Mars on the inside of the sneaker as well. So this shoe is really made to feel like Mars all the way around both inside and out. On the insole of the shoe here, you also are gonna get that same image of Mars here, very detailed image with that metallic silver Nike Air branding on the heel. Now I think we can go ahead and cut the lights off, take a look at the 3M on these, which is insane. Boom. And there it is, the 3M action on the Air Max 90 Mars. Oh my goodness, this is, this is nice. When I tell you guys Nike went crazy with the 3M on these. So again, full 3M all over the upper of the sneaker on both the lateral and the medial side of the shoe. Not only that, but you also get 3M hits on one of the extra pairs of laces as well. You get a pair of orange laces that actually match the upper of the sneaker a lot more closely with hits of 3M on there as well. And you also get an extra set of black laces just in case you want your shoelaces to match the midsole of the sneaker. I am a huge fan of 3M laces. This is actually a pair of Air Max Pluses that I got some custom laces from a friend of mine. Man, I'm a big fan of 3M laces, so I'll be putting 3M laces on these too. And that's pretty much it as far as the shoe was concerned. Tell me what you guys think about these, the Air Max 90 Mars. Was this one that you were able to pick up or not? You know, I'll tell you guys personally, I love these and I love the story behind them. I live in Huntsville, Alabama. This is the rocket city. We have a lot of NASA operations that go down here, a lot of rockets. So anything that has to do with space travel and things of that nature, I'm always gonna be big on. As you guys know, we did the NASA review for the Paul George line. Nike seems to have a very close relationship, not just with NASA, but a deep fascination with space travel as well. And when you marry those together into sneakers, amazing things like this can happen. This sneaker is really more for the collector than the wearer, right? You guys probably aren't gonna go and try to put a fit together to rock your Mars Air Max 90s, but there's gonna be a lot of hardcore collectors, a lot of nerds, a lot of space geeks and people like that that are really gonna appreciate this sneaker and probably not even wear it. 
If you're a nerd like me, if you're someone that really enjoys the cosmos and space travel, these are really going to be one that you're going to want to add to your collection, just an appreciation of the Mars rover. Opportunity has been out there on Mars, searching around, looking, taking images, and finding information for the last 15 years, since 2004. And so to see a program like that end, it's kind of sad to be honest with you, but at least now we have something that we can take with us, something from a digitized photo that the rover took that can be stamped in time forever. So thank you Mars Rover Opportunity for everything that you have done to further the mission of space exploration. All right guys, enough of me talking. Sound off down in the comments and let me know what you guys think about the Air Max 90 Quick Strike Mars. Of course, while you're down there in the comments, make sure that you click on that little subscribe button right down there to make sure that you come and join the Sneaker Fetish family. We would love to have you here to make sure that you don't miss out on any more heat that's coming through because I guarantee you, I got a lot more heat on the way. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish, taking a look at these with me, unboxing them with me for a couple of minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Nike Air Max 90 Quick Strike Mars. And until next time, I'm out.